children so far we have seen the architecture like the monuments and the observatories now let us see the paintings here see children children do you know paintings yes india has a rich heritage of paintings and recent history has seen the development of many different styles in paintings some of these are now let's see children india is a very famous for these paintings children we have the history of paintings also and if now let us go for if you if you go for the museum you can see the different paintings let us go for the first one is miniature painting what is that children miniature that is a miniature painting mini means small size mini means small small sized or miniature paintings were made in india about 1000 years ago on palm leaves so this is 1000 years ago children on palm leaves see on the palm leaves thousand years ago this small sized paintings were there colors for these paintings were extracted from minerals that means taken extracted means taken so colors were taken from minerals next one is precious stones now we have beautiful uh, colors like water colors all these things at that time there were no colors children but the colors are taken from minerals precious stones valuable stones vegetables also children vegetables etc see once again the miniature painting mini means small the small sized or miniature paintings were made in india about thousand years ago so that means that much old and these paintings were there on palm leaves colors for these paintings were extracted from minerals precious stones vegetables etc today they are made on today these are made on paper stone cloth etc paper stone cloth paper stone cloth etc once upon a time they are made on palm leaves color for these paintings were extracted from minerals precious stones vegetables today they are made on paper stone cloth etc they were very popular in the mughal period so these were very popular in which period children mughal period okay and showed themes from the mughal courts and battlefields so these paintings is a uh, uh, indic i mean these paintings uh, what see any painting you take there definitely there will be a meaning in that painting so here also these paintings were representing the mughal period battlefields and uh, mughal period battlefields war fields children battlefields and if you see the battle fields and courts also mughal courts mughal courts battle fields and mughal courts these paints i mean this painting represents often a large number of artists work together on a single painting see how much great it was on a single painting so many artists used to work so this is called as miniature painting mini means a small sized were made in india about thousand years ago on palm leaves colors for these paintings are taken from minerals precious stones and vegetables and now these paintings today they are made on paper stone and cloth and these were very popular why these are very popular children on the mughal period during they show the themes from the mughal courts and battlefields a large number of artists have involved in a single painting see how much great and how much beauty it is okay children now see madhubani painting 
so we have seen miniature painting now it is madhubani painting madhubani paintings are named after the town madhubani what is the town name children madhubani in which area in bihar okay so madhubani painting our paintings are named after the town madhubani in bihar the themes of these paintings are what are the themes hindu gods the themes of these paintings are hindu gods and hindu gods and goddesses hindu gods and goddesses so the, the themes are hindu gods and goddesses nature and celebrations like weddings so nature and celebrations nature and celebrations like wedding see this painting okay is representing the hindu gods the theme main theme is hindu god and goddesses nature also and celebrations like weddings etc they are decorated with double line borders so the borders here see children the borders is a double line they are decorated with the double line borders they are decorated like this they are decorated with the double line borders and next one and floral patterns floral means uh, see children the flowers uh, like this the flowers will be there okay floral patterns and see like this the floral patterns are there next one here see the eyes of the human figures are shown as big if there are human figures the eyes are shown as big next one see fishes in madhubani painting symbolize good luck so the fishes symbolize good luck children so the fishes in the madhubani painting symbolize good luck next one peacocks see the figures the animals are also used here peacock stands for love next one snakes denote divine protectors so snakes are the divine protectors so these are divine means great protectors children so here see once again i repeat madhubani paintings are named after the town madhubani in bihar the themes of these paintings what are the themes children hindu gods and goddesses even the nature and celebrations like wedding etc and they are decorated with a double line and the floral pattern and here inside the painting the fishes okay symbolizes good luck peacock symbolizes love and snakes are the divine protectors and human also there the eyes of human figures are big children okay these paintings were earlier made to decorate the mud walls of houses usually see children in the ancient days the houses were made with mud and the mud walls are decorated with these paintings by the women now they are made on different materials like cloth now they are made on cloth next one is cloth here see cloth handmade paper cloth handmade paper and canvas canvas is also a type of material okay and these paintings are traditionally are uh, made using white rice paste in the olden days the colors were not there but with the help of white rice paste and vegetable colors bamboo sticks covered with cotton bamboo sticks covered with cotton see children how the uh, tradition it is the bamboo sticks the covered with cotton are used as paint brushes nowadays everything is available like paints colors and brushes but in the olden days how the colors were the, their children where they made with the rice paste and vegetables and bamboo sticks okay with the cotton are used as paint brushes once again i repeat madhubani painting 
are named after the town Madhubani in Bihar. The themes mainly represents Hindu gods, goddesses, nature and even the celebrations like weddings also. They are decorated with double line and floral patterns. The eyes of human figures are shown as big. Fishes symbolizes good luck. Peacocks for love and snakes are the divine protectors. These paintings were earlier made to decorate the mud walls of the house in the olden days by the women. Now they are made in different materials like cloth, handmade paper and canvas. These paintings are traditionally made using with what material children? Rice paste and vegetables. And how the brushes are made? Bamboo sticks, okay, covered with cotton, okay. Children now see Tanjore painting. What is this children? Tanjore painting. Tanjore style of painting belongs to the state of Tamil Nadu. So Tanjore style of painting belongs to the state of Tamil Nadu. Which state children? Tamil Nadu. This type of painting is done on a cloth stretched over a wooden plank. So there will be a wooden plank and the cloth is stretched on that cloth this type of painting is done. Okay. So cloth stretched on on a wooden plank. This type of painting is okay done on a cloth stretched over a wooden plank. Next one, lime paste is used to make the surface smooth for painting. Which paste, children? Here, see. Which paste? Lime paste. So the lime paste is used to make the surface smooth for painting. Then the painters draw outlines of the figures which, which depict plump and chubby faces. So plump and means fat and chubby faces. So first of all, see how these paintings are done. In a wooden plank, a cloth will be stretched and there next lime paste is used to make the surface smooth for painting. After that the painters draw outlines of the figures to depict the plump and chubby faces. These drawings are decorated by sticking pearls. See, by sticking pearls children. Do you know pearls? Next one is semi pearls. Next one is semi precious stones. Pearls, semi precious stones. Pearls, semi precious, uh, semi precious stones and beaten gold leaf. Beaten gold leaf. Beaten gold leaf with the help of sawdust. Do you know sawdust children? Yes. When we cut the wood with the help of a saw blade, the sawdust will come. And glue. Glue is to stick the pearls. So once again here see. Tanjore style of painting belongs to the state of Tamil Nadu, this type of painting is done on the cloth stretched over a wooden plank. And after that, a lime paste is used to make the surface smooth. And then the painters will draw the outlines of the figures to depict plump means fat and chubby faces. And these drawings are decorated by pearls, semi precious valuable stones and beaten gold leaf with the help of sawdust and glue. Rest of the areas are painted using bright colors. So the rest of the area is painted using bright colors. Mainly divine characters are depicted in these paintings. The great one, the divine one like the gods are, de okay, are depicted over this in these paintings. So this type of painting is called as Tanjore painting. Okay. Now time to recall the lesson children. First one.
Material heritage includes all historical things that exist in physical form. Okay. So that means non uh, this is our material heritage. Non-material heritage is also present. Okay. So it is in physical form like monuments, architecture, paintings. Okay. Physical form. Material heritage includes all historical things that exist in physical form. Taj Mahal means crown palace. What is the meaning of Taj Mahal? Crown palace. Who built this Taj Mahal children? Yes, Shah Jahan. Where it is? In Agra. Nalanda University was built over 1500 years ago. So Nalanda University is built out. When children? 1500 years ago. It is in Bihar. Golconda Fort is situated in Hyderabad. Where children? Golconda Fort. It is situated in Hyderabad. And next one, Mysore Palace was built in 14th century. So where it is in Karnataka. So in 14th century, the Mysore Palace was built. Sanchi Stupa is one of the best Buddhist monument in the world. So the best Buddhist monument is Sanchi Stupa. Sanchi Stupa is one of the Okay, it is one of the best Buddhist monument. Many Indian monuments are known for their sculptures. Many Indian monuments are known for their sculptures. So, in this lesson we have learned so many. Okay, monuments, architectures, observatories and paintings like Taj Mahal, Nalanda University, Konark Temple, Golconda Fort, Mysore Palace, Humayun's Tomb, Sai Cathedral Church, Jantar Mantar, Sanchi Stupa, Kajuraho Temples, paintings like miniature painting, Madhubani paintings and Tanjore painting. So this is the end of the lesson number 10 R Material Heritage. Thank you.